Okay, so I was asked to demonstrate transposition. So here we have a equals to c over d, a over b equals to c over d, and we want to make a the subject of the the form the equation. So we're gonna get rid of b on this side, and the way to do that, if something is in the denominator, if something is in the denominator. We're going to multiply so we can cancel it out on both sides. So we're going to have here b over 1 times b over 1. This cancel out, this cancel out. And so we have left back c, b over d. That's the first one. So now we have something in the denominator. When anything is in the denominator, we try to multiply it. To get rid of it right so this is basically going to be d over one and we're going to do it to the same side d over one then we cancel and cancel right so now we're left back with d a over b which is equal to c but we still want to get d right so now that we have this we're going to divide this by a and we're going to divide this by a and this goes away and this goes away this is in the denominator so we're going to multiply this by b over one and we're going to do the same thing here b over one and this cancels out and this cancels out so now we have d is equal to c b over a right So now we have an algebra equation where we want A, simple algebra. So whatever we do to the left hand side, we're going to do to the right. So if we have A added here, we're going to minus A, right? And we're going to also minus A over here. So we're going to be left back with, oh, oops. So we wanted A, so we're going to minus B, sorry, minus B, and we're going to minus B here. Right? So what we're going to be left back with is minus B, right? So we're going to left back with now is we have minus B plus B, and we're going to have A is equal to C plus d minus b perfect same thing here we want d so we're going to add d because d is negative on this side right and so we're going to add d here as well so we want d i wanted d to be positive so we get rid of this and we have d plus a plus b is equal to c then we can have here d is now equal to c minus a minus b because if we have it over here we're gonna minus a right and we're gonna also minus b and this is gonna cancel this is gonna cancel this and this and we just left it here we did the same thing over here to get this. Now we have something a little bit more complicated where we want to find V, right? So it's already multiplied, it's already simplified for us. So we could go ahead and basically just move around. So you want to get rid of the two. We cancel out, we cancel out, and we multiply this side by 2, and we have 2 here. Okay? Then we want to get rid of the T over here, so we cancel out, and we cancel out. So we're left with 2S over T, and this cancel out, this cancel out. Right? So what we're left back with is now 2S over T equal to U plus V. We want to get V. 
So we're gonna minus u from this side, and we're gonna minus u from this side, and we're gonna get 2s minus u over t equals to b, because this cancels out this, and we're left back with v. Same thing here, we want v, but it's squared, and this would be pretty simple to get rid of the square root. You square everything on this side, and now you have v. Whenever you have this, you just square everything, get rid of it. Okay, now we want to find u. It's the same thing, right? So, u is actually um, added to 2as, which is a multiplication. So we're going to move u on the next side. We're going to minus u squared from v squared, which is equal to 2as. Now we have u squared, negative, right? And we can now take away v squared. We can minus v squared from here, and we can minus v squared from here, right? We can multiply this side by negative 1. And we multiply this side by negative 1. And we're going to get now u squared is equal to minus 2as plus v squared. Right? So now u is now equal to square root of negative 2as plus v squared. Got it? A. So we want to find A in this equation. And again, we're going to take away v squared minus u squared equals to u squared minus u squared plus 2as. Cancel out, cancel out. So now we have v squared minus u squared equals to 2as. We're going to divide this side by 2 and s. And divide this side by 2 and s. And now we have v squared minus u squared over 2s is equal to a. And last but not least, we have Q. We have the equation T over S and on the square root side, I'm looking for Q. So this one is easy. T over S plus Q equal to Q minus Q minus S. Sorry. Uh oh Plus S, sorry. Plus S. And this one now is minus S. So plus s minus s. And therefore we're going to have t over s plus s equals to q. Because these two cancel out. And now we have the same thing here. We're looking for t. So to remove that sign, we square everything other than that. We square everything. Right? And now we're looking for t, so t over s times s is equal to s q minus s squared, right? This cancel out, this cancel out, now we have t is equal to s q minus s squared. Alright, hope that helps. Good night.